Hi guys, welcome back. So we're just doing some picking here. Ian's picking some of our beans. We got tons of beans. They're everywhere. Some of them are even starting to turn brown. So we'll probably have to use those for seed savers. But you can kind of see, let me zoom in. Here's our bean pile. So many beans. We got more beans on this one. These ones have quite a bit more brown ones. So we'll have to, again, seed save those. Um, our peppers, let me get a better view over here. They are looking really good. See how big they are. Very excited for those. None on that plant, but I think, yep, this one, where to go, there they are. Some little green bells in there. I believe these are all sweet bell peppers or bell peppers in general. So that'll be good. I know from what I understand, the longer bell pepper sits, is how like the longer they grow, the different colors they turn into. Mm. So they start off green and then I think they go yellow, orange, red. That's why the red ones are so expensive because they take forever to turn colors. So yeah, and we got our tomatoes. Which garden hose should I use, Ian? Oh, can what? Which garden hose should I use? Tomatoes are looking the one? awesome. The uh, this black one over here. So yeah, we got our tomatoes. Tons of tomatoes. Let's see if I can get through the forest here. You can kind of see some through there. We are gonna have a lot of tomatoes this season. So they're all still kind of small and green right now but being that they are beef steak they're gonna get pretty darn big so corn is still doing really well still really happy with our corn not really sure I'm pretty sure this is a peaches and cream plant but I'm not a hundred percent certain I don't think they're tasseled enough to pick yet though, so we'll have to keep an eye on those. They're not very big, but they still produce corn, so I don't know. But the other corn that we picked, we just went ahead and vacuum sealed and we're going to freeze. But we'll have plenty more to actually um, take off and try it before the season is over, so. But we kind of just wanted to get a bunch vacuum sealed and frozen before the season ended in case we forgot and it got really hot or something crazy happened but um yeah so that's just kind of ripped that off by accident but here's a bunch of beans <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple more beans I've ripped, so i ripped a few off too yeah so they're pretty Pretty long. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. These would be good. I like beans. We'll have to. Ooh, there's a good pile. I don't know how you're pile. supposed to pull these off. I don't either. Guess we'll find out if we're doing it wrong. So if you have better tips or tricks on how to de-bean a plant, let us know. Or is it, is it better to cut them off? I don't know. Cut them or pull them. I don't really know if you're supposed to snap them a certain way. But yeah, so we'll keep an eye on our on our peppers. We'll keep an eye on our tomatoes. I'm really excited about these peppers because I we like to make stuffed peppers. So that'll be fun if we can get big ones and uh, make homemade stuffed peppers. So. All right. Anyway, um, and then there's our marigold. Still looking really good. Our sunflower looks beautiful. That looks really nice. So I looked it up. I have that app. Um, what is it? Plant something? Um, I can't remember. I'll post it Pinterest. in the... 
picture this or something. So these are zinnias. So these attract birds. And then these are balsam. And these attract bees. So this must have been part of our bee and bird uh, collection of plants. So we'll continue to monitor these guys, see what they're gonna grow up to be. And we'll probably get another sunflower here. We got these plants. I'll have to look up what these guys are because I'm not sure. So, and then our took down our peas. So we'll have to collect some more peas to seed save. And then uh, Ian took all of our red onions out. They look really nice. So I'll um, take a quick video later today to show you what those look like. They turned out um, pretty big, not huge, huge, but big enough. Um, I think we're gonna wait for these white onions to flower. We were hoping the red onions would, but we'll wait for the white onions to flower. That mom or that um, marigold is looking really good too, right there. So let's take a quick look at I didn't pluck it off. This one's blooming really nice. I'll have to look up that one too. That marigold's doing well. Did you see there's pink ones on this one, Ian? There's pink flowers. Oh I didn't, yeah. So these guys are looking good and then our grasses are still doing really well too. Haven't really seen much more mulberries so I don't know if they've just stopped dropping or if the birds are getting them I'm not sure but our grasses are looking nice. We'll still probably plant more over here and then our our willow is doing really well too. So, so that's the only update I have for now. So Ian's got a whole shirt full of uh, beans over there, tons of beans. But anyway, that's all we got. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.